In this video, you'll be excited to know that we'll be exploring the difference between electrolytes and non-electrolytes. However, you may not be as excited as this little rascal. All right, let's get started. An electrolyte is a substance that dissolves in water to form ions. It's important. And will therefore conduct electricity. So it looks like any time we have ions, remember that that's um, cations and anions, that's particles with a positive or negative charge. Looks like any time we have that, we're going to be able to conduct electricity. Salt water, for example, would be an electrolyte solution. And here we have a conductivity tester, um, two, two leads sticking into the solution, and we'll pass current um, through the solution. And if current is able to pass through the solution, it should close the circuit or complete the circuit, and the light bulb should light up. So an electrolyte solution will conduct electricity. A strong electrolyte is a substance that completely dissociates in water or completely breaks up in water. An example of a strong electrolyte would be sodium chloride. Sodium chloride as a solid breaks up into sodium ions and chloride ions. And it's these ions that will conduct electricity. Let's contrast that with a weak electrolyte. A weak electrolyte is a substance that partially dissociates in water. So a strong electrolyte completely breaks apart. A weak electrolyte partially breaks apart. A classic example of that is vinegar, or acetic acid, written as CH3COOH. If vinegar is placed in water, what we'll see is that some of it breaks apart to form this and that, while some of it still stays like this. So what we have in the solution um, is some reactant and some product. This reactant does not conduct electricity. It's only the ions that conduct electricity. All right, we've, we've got a picture that helps us understand what's going on here. If we add salt to water, well, we see the ions, sodium and chloride, and these conduct electricity. If we add vinegar to water, what we discover is that some of it breaks up, so we have H, and we also have this ion, but a fair amount of it actually stays as the reactant vinegar. So you can see we have all three. We have the reactant and both products. This is a weak electrolyte because it only partially breaks up. So it will still conduct electricity, but not to the extent that a strong electrolyte will. In fact, the light bulb would light up, but it wouldn't light up as bright. A non-electrolyte, well, that's a substance that dissolves in water. It still dissolves, but does not form ions and does not conduct electricity. For example, sugar water does not cause the light bulb to light up. So we've already looked at salt. Now let's look at what happens when we put sugar in water. We can see the way it's been drawn that the sugar still dissolves. You know sugar dissolves in water. We've all had um, sugar water before. But when it dissolves, it does not split up into positives and negatives and therefore does not conduct electricity. So there's electrolytes, non-electrolytes, but within the category of electrolytes, there's strong electrolytes and weak electrolytes.